Hi, my name is Richard Fink. I'm here to show you a quick fix uh, for an air conditioning problem that I have encountered. Um, this is a 99 Ford Ranger. Uh, it's got about 160,000 miles on it. I live in Phoenix, Arizona, which is the hottest place on earth. And uh, I was having trouble with my air conditioning. The symptoms were uh, it would work okay in the morning, but then towards the afternoon, uh, when it got really hot, it would just quit working. There was plenty of pressure in the system. Uh, all the switches, pressure switches were working just fine, but it just, it, it would work beautiful, and then it would just quit working uh, when it got to be hot outside. I'd shut the air conditioning off, give it a while, maybe 10, 15 minutes, turn it back on, and it would start to work again for a little while, and then quit. So uh, I found out the compressor was getting power, so it wanted to come on, but it wasn't. So the clutch wasn't engaging all the time. It intermittently would, uh, would work, and sometimes it wouldn't. So let me show you what I found here. All right, here's the uh, AC clutch. And uh, what, was hap what, what was happening here is over time, uh, the clutch surfaces wear down and creates a gap in here, a rather large gap. Inside here you have a magnet and it's got to pull this metal plate in and close. Well the gap had gotten to the point where it was it was too far apart and the clutch or the magnet had trouble pulling it in. So what I did is I removed the spacer that's inside here to close the gap a little bit so the magnet could actually pull the clutch in and I'll show you just exactly what I mean here. There's a little, there's a bolt that comes right out here, the center of it. It's an eight millimeter bolt and uh, what I did is I just manually engaged the clutch to make it easier to unscrew the bolt um, and everything. So you take the, the bolt out and then you, the clutch itself will slide right out. You don't have to take the compressor off, you don't have to blow the charge or nothing. So I'll show you that real quick. Alright, I'm going to slide this out. Pull it out. There it is. There's the clutch. Okay. Now on the inside of this shaft, all the way down in there, there's a little washer. It's basically a, a spacer. And uh, this is what I removed this little thing. So it was just in there like so. I just took my little uh, screwdriver and uh, got it out. Just like that. So took the uh, spacer out, kind of cleaned up the clutch a little bit, then put it back in. And then the little bolt just goes right back in the center. Alright, I've got the uh, bolt back in, it's in place, and what I'm going to do, I've got this wire to manually engage the clutch and disengage it. So there you go, it's engaged, disengaged, engaged, disengaged. There we go. Now eventually I'm going to have to replace the clutch, but um, this will get me by maybe perhaps for one more summer. Alright, well to sum up what I've done, basically by removing the spacer, by removing this spacer, which is basically a washer, um, we've closed the gap between the, uh, the, the magnet of the clutch and the actual metal disc. So we've reduced the gap between the metal clutch and the actual magnetic clutch itself, therefore enabling it to actually pull it in and close. It was basically just too far away and couldn't uh, draw it in properly. So now if, if you take it apart and there's no, there's no washer in there, you're going to need to get a new clutch. So uh, anyways, I hope this helps. Again, my name is Richard Fink. Thanks for watching. I hope, uh, I hope this uh, helps you out. Have a good day.